All right, so my general setup is done. I have my title page and my header with my num page numbers. And now I've actually started writing my essay. This is just an essay on women in combat I found on the internet. So what I need to do, as I do with all essays, is cite all information that is not from my head. So whether it's a paraphrase or a direct quote, if it didn't come from my brain, I need to give credit to whoever gave me that information. So if right here, this information about women having two-thirds the cardiovascular fitness and strength as men was the first thing that I used from a source, what I need to do is take a look at how I cite things in Chicago style. So again, I always like to look at a model. So CMS NB sample paper, that's the one we're doing. This means notes and bibliography. This is one that has footnotes. We're doing a paper with footnotes, so this is what we need. So again, we've looked at it once, but when I cite something, I have to do a superscript number. That's the first thing I've cited, so that's a one. This is the second thing, so that'll be a number two. The third thing is going to be number three, etc. all the way through my paper. There'll probably be like 20 or so of these by the end of the paper. And each number corresponds down here in a footnote where it has the citation information. So how do I add a superscript number and then a footnote in Google Docs? So again, if this was the first piece of information that I borrowed, I'm going to go to the end of it, and I'm going to go format, I'm sorry, insert footnote. It automatically puts the one down there, and it automatically put the one up here as well. So now down here I'm ready to put that information. Now my second thing I cited that wasn't from my own brain was this right here. This one was a direct quote. So again, I'm going to go insert footnote, and it's pretty cool because it automatically labeled that one as two, and the one down here is two. So right here, I'm going to put the bibliographical information for my for first source, and here I'm going to put it for my second source.